We're about to test things that can make a huge difference in how you use ChatGPT, like passing your certifications, blazing fast, landing jobs faster with better cover letters and resumes, practicing interview questions and kicking up the difficulty than you could otherwise, or finding out what hackers can do with your code, and not only that, but then securing it quickly, efficiently, and within minutes. You can also learn how to supercharge your blog post by 100x and get a 4.0 GPA. That's right, I said a 4.0 GPA at your school or university ethically, all using ChatGPT. Let's talk about it. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Go to chat.openai.com. Create a free account by signing up. This will require your phone number. Once you've done that, log into ChatGPT by entering your username and password, and we're in. Let's say you want to know more about a certification. You can type in something as simple as, tell me about the CISSP and immediately provides an explanation. Or perhaps you're pursuing a certification and you're stuck on a certain topic despite having gone through a bunch of videos, having reviewed articles, going through the textbook. Maybe it's just not making sense to you. So you can ask for an explanation with something like, explain cryptography to me and make it simple and easy to understand and provide in a concise manner. Well, there you go. We have an explanation. But perhaps it's not exactly what we want. We want it even simpler so we can go with something like, explain it to me like I'm a child. And amazingly enough, it actually does that for you. The point I'm trying to make is that you can use the AI better if you can guide it better. The better your questions are, and the more you can guide it towards what you want, the better answers you can expect. You can even do this with exam questions for practicing, right? So let's go with, I'm taking the CISSP exam, and I need you to provide me with three exam practice questions. Now, obviously, these are not real questions, but let's go for it. And there we go. It's providing questions for us for free, and they're pretty good quality. We can even kick it up a notch and say, give me three more, but this time, make them harder. And amazingly enough, it actually does that. It's not just certifications. It can even be used for resumes, right? So if you're not getting a job, maybe you're not marketing yourself quite right. So let's make sure resume is great. And we can start with something like tips on the resume itself by asking, give me tips to improve my resume. And right away, we see that it's popping up some great points, tailoring your resume to a specific job you're applying for, focusing on achievements and not just responsibilities, making sure to use bullet points, keeping it concise, including relevant skills, making sure you've proofread your resume and doesn't have any mistakes, and using a professional format. Normally, people charge money for something like this. So it's quite amazing that within seconds or minutes, it pops up information that's extremely important to you and can be very helpful. And you can even use it for cover letters. So we'll use my example, provide some context, write me a cover letter based on the following. I'm an experienced cybersecurity consultant, and in the past, I have worked as a CISO, principal consultant, executive advisor, and a lead penetration tester for the U.S. government. And just like that, it's generating, in real time, a cover letter. And it's just, it's all for free. It's just amazing. You can even go with interview questions and say, give me three job interview questions for CISOs. And it, it provides them. And guess what? They're relevant. How do you stay up to date with latest technology, security threats, and trends? And how do you ensure that your team stays informed as well? That is a key part of being a CISO. You have to know what's going on in today's world. The latest threats, the latest vulnerabilities, the latest trends, whatever is related to security in your job, you need to know it on a daily basis. Not only you, but your team has to know it. Question two, how do you balance the need for security with the need of usability and accessibility in technology systems? That is so relevant. If it's too secure, it's not as usable. If it's too user-friendly, it's not going to be as secure. So what's the right balance and how do you handle it? So this really does prepare you. And it's not just CISOs. You can do this for penetration testers, or it could be for developers, or it could be for cloud engineers, or doctors, or lawyers, any field. For coding, it's pretty fun. You can have ChatGPT review your code, make it more secure, more efficient, and even more optimized. So let's go with an example here. We'll generate a code snippet first by something like, write code for me to allow access to my API service, and write it in Python. So it goes ahead and generates that code for you. Once the code is generated, we can actually ask it to now secure it by protecting it against the OWASP top 10 with something like, secure the code you provided against the OWASP top 10. And right away, it actually starts making those improvements and improving the code so it's more secure. And as it generates the code, it's actually providing explanations of what it did, course protection, password hashing, JWT token authentication, custom authentication, error handling, secret key. It's just doing everything for us. 
One of the biggest challenges bloggers face is generating and writing material consistently day after day and week after week that is interesting, engaging, and relevant to your audience. Well, now you can use ChatGPT to do that for you. So we could go with something like write five blog posts for me on cybersecurity for topics related to AI and its future, application security, API security, cloud security, and cryptocurrency, and how it relates to cybersecurity, for example. And just like that, it'll do it for you. It's pretty amazing how it can do all these things for you. And it's, again, all for free. How do you get a 4.0 GPA? Well, what are the common problems we face in college or universities? Sometimes the lecture is just boring and not engaging. It's unfortunate, but it's very true. Or some topics are confusing and don't make sense. And sometimes even assignments that are given to us, they don't quite click. So you might be able to deliver better if you just understood it better and you had a starting point. And for that, we can use ChatGPT. So for example, we can just take any random thing online. In this case, I pulled up an assignment from MIT OpenCourseWare related to technology, law, and the work environment. I can take this, copy it, and paste it into ChatGPT and ask it to explain it to me and perhaps give me some tips on how to start. Now we can go further and customize it and fine tune it. That'd be great and we can get started on that assignment. Having it write the assignment really isn't ethical and not only that, but you wouldn't learn. So if in the real world, the time came to deliver in a boardroom or somewhere, you know, it kinda is a lifelong thing so you wouldn't wanna do that. Now where does that leave us? Well, ChatGPT is a great tool, has a lot of capabilities and features. It's essentially the new version of the search engine. But at the end of the day, it is just a tool. So benefit from it, enjoy it, and let's see where it goes, inshallah. But most importantly, something you must remember and also encourage others is subscribe to the channel, folks. Thank you and have a great one.